Now we'll talk about reference frames. What if I told you that I was sitting still right now? So here's my chair and I'm sitting here. In my chair sitting still. If I told you that I was sitting still, you would conclude that I'm not moving. I'm not in a car, I'm not in a boat or a plane. I'm just sitting in a chair sitting still. But what if I told you that even though I was sitting still, I was also moving at nearly 900 miles per hour. Is that possible? Is it possible that I could be sitting still and also moving at 900 miles per hour? In fact it is. Right now as I'm sitting here recording this, I'm sitting still. I'm not moving in a car or a plane, I'm just sitting in the chair, but I'm also moving at, nine, at nearly 900 miles per hour. And that's because even though I'm sitting still on the, on the chair, and the chair is not sliding across the room or anything, I'm still relative to the room, I'm on the surface of the earth. The chair and the floor and the whole house is sitting on the surface of the earth, and the earth, as you know, is spinning. The earth goes around once per day. And the earth, if you go around the earth at the equator, it's about 25,000 miles around. And it goes around once per day, and you can do the math pretty simple here. If it goes 25,000 miles in 24 hours, it's going about, roughly, about 1,000 miles per hour. Now, I'm up here in Atlanta, which is about right, about right here. So Atlanta is north of the equator, so the circle that, that Atlanta moves in is a little bit smaller. So because it's a smaller distance, it moves at a little bit less speed. It goes a little bit shorter distance in a given time. So Atlanta, in fact, is moving at about 860 miles per hour. So relative to the Earth's axis, this line that we could draw through the center of the Earth, Relative to the Earth's axis, I am moving right now at 860 miles per hour. Relative to the floor or the house or relative to the room in which I'm sitting, I'm moving at a speed of zero miles per hour. So this question, how fast am I moving, you see that it has an ambiguous answer. The answer would be zero if my point of view is the room or the house or the floor right here. But the, the answer to the question, how fast am, am I moving, would be 860 miles an hour if that was measured relative to the center of the Earth, if the point of view was the center of the Earth. And this, this thing that you measure all the speeds relative to is called the frame of reference or the reference frame. So if the frame of reference is the Earth's axis, then I'm moving at 860 miles per hour. If the frame of reference is the floor in my house, then I'm moving at a speed of zero. Now you might ask, what if you went to the North Pole? What if you were standing right up here, and the Earth is spinning around and around, but if you were standing here at the North Pole, not to scale obviously, but if you're standing there, you wouldn't be moving relative to the Earth's axis. You'd just be rotating very slowly, very, very slowly, one rotation per day you wouldn't even be able to perceive it. You certainly wouldn't get dizzy from a rotation like that. Uh, you'd be one, one rotation per day, but you wouldn't be moving anywhere, just rotating. So can we say that the Earth's axis then is still? If we're trying to find a place that's really still, would the North or the South Pole be the place to go? Well, not really, because we know that the Earth is moving around the Sun. And in fact, it's moving around the Sun at a speed of about 16 miles per second. So the Earth itself is flying through space at about 16, not 16 miles per hour, 16 miles per second. And that's really fast compared to the speeds that we normally move around with on the Earth. You're driving your car, you might be you know, driving into your neighborhood at 16 miles per hour. This is 16 miles per second. So is the sun still then? If you wanted to find a place that's really still, could you go to the sun? If you went there and managed to survive the heat from the sun, would you have finally found a place that's actually still? Well, the answer is no, because the sun and all the planets orbiting the sun, our entire solar system, is moving around the center of the galaxy as our galaxy rotates. Here's a picture of a spiral galaxy. This was a picture taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. This is not our galaxy, but the galaxy that we are in looks something like this. 
this bright area in the middle is billions and billions and billions of stars and you see individual stars here you see these bright bright dots uh, those are just stars that happen to be a little bit closer what looks like dust throughout this picture each little speck of dust is not really a speck of dust it's an entire star a million times the size of the earth so this is a, a massive thing this galaxy and um, in in these spiral arms that sweep around here in our galaxy which we call the Milky Way our the earth is located about two-thirds of the way out from the edge in one of the spiral arms and the whole galaxy is rotating so earth is moving around the center of the galaxy or the Sun and all the planets around it are moving around the center of the galaxy and even the center of the galaxy is not still the galaxy itself is flying through space at a very high speed and when we say that it's moving at a high speed it's not really moving relative to space it's moving just compared to other galaxies nearby they're moving around relative to each other all motion is measured relative to something so when I say that I'm sitting still what I really mean is that I'm sitting still relative to the room the frame of reference is the room and when I say that I'm moving at 860 miles an hour I mean I'm moving at 860 miles an hour relative to the earth's axis or with respect to the earth's axis and when I say that I'm moving at 16 miles per second what I mean is that I'm moving at 16 miles per second relative to the Sun or with respect to the Sun so motion is always measured relative to some frame of reference some point of view